Hey everyone, this is Soraya from Twin Flames Universe, and this is your Twin Flame Collective Energy Reading for the week of November 25th through December 1st. And so we are coming up on December. Thanksgiving is over here in the U.S., and we are getting ready for all the Christmas trees and the lights and the presents and the shopping and everything Christmassy. Um, and so it's just, it's that holiday season. We're starting to really feel it now that we've got Thanksgiving behind us here. So... This week is kind of along those lines. We are actually moving into a place of getting clarity of desire. That's really the focus of this week is just clarity of desire. And what does that mean? It, it really, it has a lot to do with our priorities. It has a lot to do with our motivations. Um, it has a lot to do with our dreams and our goals and, and where actually we see ourselves headed and what's important to us. It's about values. It's about seeing what we want to, to experience in our lives and, and where we're actually headed toward and what's fueling us to get to that place. So clarity of desire is really honestly about God really opening our eyes and our hearts and our minds to what is actually possible for us in our relationship with God. Maybe there were places in our lives where we have been motivated by fear, where maybe we were trying to get away from something. Like if we're coming out of the dark night of the soul, right? Um, maybe we're thinking like, oh, I want to do my spiritual work so I don't have to be in that situation anymore. Or maybe we're in separation from our twin flame and we're like, okay, there's still a part of us that's still like, I want to do my spiritual work so that I can have this result with my twin flame or in my life or life purpose or even just in relationships and our finances. There may be all these things in our lives that might have been just very uncomfortable, giving us a lot of contrast, and there may have been a time, maybe even up until now, where we, we were still holding on to some of these old motivations on some level of this like, I want to really more than anything get away from this. This is kind of just not ideal. It's this discontentment that we're feeling. And now God is opening our hearts and our minds to a new vision for ourselves and really shifting like what is the reason that we're on this path, like really getting a good idea, aligning our values and our priorities with what is actually very important to us, what we want truly more than anything, which is to be with God and to live a life that feels good in every area, not just being short-sighted with one particular thing. And so it's almost like God is, it's, it's like a very romantic time with God. It's like God is just romancing us and he's showing us like, oh wow, like you could be propelled by your desire for love as opposed to you trying to get away from pain um, or discomfort or fear, whatever it is for us. And so it's just, it's this time of experiencing God in a new way, experiencing ourselves in a new way, realizing that there's so much more for us than just maybe even what we've settled for on this journey so far. You know, even moving closer to God, sometimes we can become short-sighted or we don't really fully understand what it is we're choosing for ourselves. Being on this journey, following Jeff and Shelia's teachings and and just really taking advantage of everything that this community has to offer, um, it's it's huge and it serves us in every single area of our lives. We're talking about basically eliminating fear from our lives in the most joyful, fun way possible, the easiest way possible with the mirror exercise of just bringing love in and letting love come in and just clear out all those old energies and just bring new life into our, our experience. And so, yeah, this week is just about clarity of desire. So, as things come up, you're actually going to be having a, a lot of uh, questioning about what is your motivation for doing things and not in like a scolding way of like God's like getting on your back like you need to you need to handle this and it is true you know it, definitely mirror that and, and do that work but but really the energy behind this is actually more of like God taking us by the hand and being like oh look like you thought you were doing it for this and that was enough for you for a period of time but I want to give you this and like showing us like the whole world that he wants to open up to us and just really spark new desire, new vision, new dreams, new goals, new ways that we see ourselves, ways that we see the world, ways we see life, the things that we want. It's like our priorities are just shifting and becoming more in alignment with who we actually are, not reacting to situations that we perceive are out of our control, but instead going within and coming from this place of true inspiration and true vision for ourselves. And so it's like a dreaming with God 
week that we have going on here. And so it's a beautiful time in our relationship with God, like intimately being able to connect with God and really have these conversations and be able to really tap into our creativity and tap into that part of us that's like a like wide-eyed child, just eager and excited to see what God has for them. And so it's almost like we're kind of getting into that Christmas spirit, but it's it's an energetic thing. It's almost like we're laying a foundation for that of like, okay, what what is it that I want in the big picture? And not just one little present from this one thing that I was really trying to get away from this, but I just want this one thing. Now it's like God is opening this up and blowing it up into this huge thing that we can really just sink our hearts into and be like, okay, yes, this is what I want. This is what I'm here for. And this is more important to me than any of the little goals that I had before, any of the little dreams that I had before. So God is like expanding us and helping us dream big and to step into our power and to who we really are and being able to experience all the possibilities that come with that. And so this is an amazing time to just really sink in and let it, let it really, let yourself really take the time to process what does it mean to be a child of God? I don't mean being a person who has a relationship with God. I'm talking about being a child of God, having that relationship with God. What does that, what does that mean? What does that mean for your life? What kind of life are you intended to have? What is your experience supposed to be like? And allow yourself to step away from all the limitations you've had before and all these limited ideas of who you are and what you're capable of. And really think, if there is no limit, if it's just me and God and there are really no limits on me, what do I want to have? What do I want to experience? What, what do I want my life to look like, to feel like, to be like? And allow your vision to go so far beyond categorically having a certain accomplishment or a certain external, you know, result. And instead, look at the heart of it. Like, how do you want to feel in your life? You know, when you do your life purpose, what, what, is, what do you want to experience when you're going to work every day? What do you want your life to feel like energetically? You know, allow yourself to dream beyond any limitations you've had in the past and really go into like, what is your heart's desire? When you get alone with yourself, like, what are your values? What are your priorities? What do you want to experience? And allow God to reveal that to you. A great thing to ask God and to pray about is to just ask God, invite God to come in and just really spark your creativity and help you see like, what, what is it that you have for me? What dreams do you want to dream with me? And share that experience with God because God is just so ready to open up a whole world to us. Um, really our world, right? The world that we're intended to have and live and experience. And so, so yes, this week, it's all about clarity of desire and just really seeing like what what do we value? What is our priority here? Like what what is actually motivating us? Is it fear? Is it like just trying to get a certain result? Is it a very limited scope on God? Or is it being pulled by love, being compelled by love, being drawn in by love? And the more that we live from that place, the more peace we're going to experience and the more joy and the more... Um, just passion and excitement in our lives. Not, again, not anxious excitement. I use that word a lot. But um, what I mean by excitement, I mean like this eagerness, this uh, energetic, like just having um, joy and feeling engaged with life, not feeling like very stagnant and just like moved around, you know, just swaying around, just kind of dull. But instead having this energy of like, oh, it's fresh, it's new. God's doing something new. I'm curious. I'm eager. I want to know what's next. And so that is really the positioning for this week is just allowing kind of those old goals. If you look at them, they're really probably not even as appealing as they used to be and really going into like, what is my motivation? Why am I doing this? You know, why is this important to me? And feeling into that in the best kind of way, not like in a, I'm evaluating, I'm doing inventory, but in a way of like, wow, like it's safe for me to dream again. It's safe for me to think beyond what I originally thought when I started this path. It's, it's safe for me to really dream with God and go to a place that maybe I didn't even know existed before and really opening up our minds to that and opening our hearts to that, allowing ourselves to really embrace that. And so that's what this week is all about. Um, the biggest takeaways for this week is just to enjoy what God has for you and to really open your mind, take the time to be inspired by God and by yourself and, and who you really are and, and sinking into that. And 
just allowing yourself to think outside the box. Give yourself the gift of not having to have the limits that you used to think you had to have on yourself and allow yourself to kind of break free of those. And, and what's left when you take all of those limitations and expectations away? What is it that you truly want? When nothing else is on the line, when there's no fear that's compelling you forward, what is it that God is pulling you forward with? What love is drawing you in? What feeling and what happiness does God want to bring forth in you? Thank you.